judge. Here come the judge. Written by first-time author Kavya Viswanathan, who was signed to a book deal as a Harvard freshman for a reported $500,000. The story took a dramatic turn when a tipster called editors at the Harvard Crimson, check out Viswanathan's novel and two previous novels by Megan McCafferty, and compare. The similarities are striking. Viswanathan issued an apology statement, raising even more questions saying she had read both McCafferty books, loved them, and must have unintentionally internalized them. <laughs> a story yet to be told. Kavya Viswanathan, good morning. Welcome to today. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Um, the New York Times, Kavya, reports that there are 29 examples of, of very similar passages between your book and two of Megan McCafferty's books. Meanwhile, Crown Publishers, McCafferty's, publisher says there are 40. Oh, How do you explain this? All I can say is that I read both of Megan McCafferty's books, Sloppy First and Second Helpings, when I was in high school. I think the first one came out when I was about 14, and I read both those books three or four times each. I completely see the similarities. I'm not denying that those are there, but I can honestly say that any of those similarities were completely unconscious and unintentional, that while I was reading Megan McCafferty's books, I must have just internalized her words. I never, <laughs> never intended to deliberately take any of her words. But now you can understand why people are so upset about this, because whether it's 29 instances or 40 instances, clearly um, it seems as they were almost directly lifted from, from her books. So it's almost difficult to to understand how they could be so similar if it was just a case of you internalizing her words and somehow they were in your unconscious and then spilled out as you were writing this novel. When I sat down to write my novel, my only intention was to tell the story of Opal. I wanted to tell an Indian American story, a college admission story. What you just said and as I was writing, I genuinely believed that every single word I wrote was my own. Is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I was so surprised and horrified when I found these similarities when I heard about them over this weekend. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. I mean, I read them throughout high school. I'm, I'm thinking probably the last time I read them was my senior year, maybe. But I didn't bring them to college. I never looked at them while I was writing Opal there on my bookshelf at home. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I hope that people who know me will believe that I'm telling the truth, that I've never been anything less than honest in my entire life, that I'm so horribly sorry for this mistake, but that's all it was, a completely unintentional mistake. Well, copy of this one off, and um, why'd you want to come on the show and talk about this? I guess just because I'm really grateful to have this chance to explain what really happened from my perspective. And Some people might say you didn't really explain it, though. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.